Now using this script, I was able to go from a 72% win rate with a return of 14R to a 77 win rate with a return of 38R. That's almost three times the original return. And we even got an increase in win rate of 5%. What else do you want? And this is what we focus on in this channel, using data science to actually improve our trading one area at a time. I could have kept this script for myself and my students, but I honestly want to help as many traders as possible. And I can 100% guarantee this script will make an immediate difference in your trading, especially if you didn't already spend time working on your TP and break even points with real data. I just released a new project where I'll be teaching traders how to turn data into profit using machine learning concepts and data science. It's called the Trading Journal Lab. It's by using the concept in this course that this student, which is now a good friend of mine, got another payout last month. And also how all these students got funded. So in this video to celebrate the launch of the course, I want to give you all for free a script that I wrote for this specific purpose. Don't forget that I'm a trader but also a software engineer with a master's in machine learning. So I had to show off a little bit my skills here for you. Now that the speech is done, let's look at this trade. I wanted to cover a practical example to explain how to work with the script. This is a trade that happened just this month and many students caught, me included. And I'll show you the meta trader at the end for proof, since some people always want that. So we have this level here and I'm seeing some break of structure. So we have this low that was taken. We have also this low, I really like this low that was taken. And then what I like to use lately is using my FIB to take my entry. Stop loss around 30, which is quite nice. And then a TP at the 62. So that's the level I really like. And I love this example because it will be a perfect one to show you where is the best way to take profit. Let's just see how it. So nice execution there. And we're already seeing some profit. So let's stop here. If you were in this trade, what would you do? Because you saw here that we had a nice reaction from this level. We stopped and we're seeing some rejection at the minus 27, which we know is a very important level to take some profit. And it was at around the one to two. Would you take profit at this point? You can answer this question for yourself and we'll see how the rest of the trade goes. And we came back to break even. So I'm sure a lot of people would have went break even at that point. 2% in profit is quite good. And I know a lot of people would go break even at that point. And there's nothing wrong in that. As long as your way of trading is based on data and you have proof to show me that it's better for you to go break even once you reach 1.5, 2% or 3%, then that's good. But you need to make those decisions based on data. And this is what we cover in your course. This is what I'm all about data. So in my own case, based on my own data, you probably know that I don't go break even. I just let my take profit hit or not, especially since it's a only a one to three or sometimes I go for a one to 2.5. So it's not like I'm aiming for 10%. Price usually go, especially with our strategies, price usually go for a one to 2.5 or one to three most of the time, and also a one to two. So I'm really confident in my trade, but this was a perfect example to cover, but let's just see how the rest of the trade goes. And there you go. So very nice trade to study here. So you saw that eventually we went to take profit. So what happened is that right before lunch, which was at 12 here, we started to range because you know that during lunch, there's not a lot of volatility. People are going to lunch and everything. But then it was right after lunch at around 1 p.m. that we saw the volatility come back again. And then we eventually reached take profit. And we even went to a 1 to 10. But of course, I didn't get a 1 to 10 trade. I just took my 1 to 3. So let's now study how we would use the script to see where is the best way to take profit because some people would say I would have went for those two equals, which is a very fair point, or I would have went for a specific one to five. So to study the best way to take profit, you first need a lot of data, of course. You won't base your strategy on only one to 10 trades. You need a good amount. But what we will do here is study what happened to the trade. So first of all, let's just open the text. So first of all, we started at 0% profit. Then we went to this point right there, which was a 2.5. So we went to a 2.5. So let's just write that. 
So we started at the zero, then we went to 2.5, then we came back to break even and not only that we went to do some drawdowns because i know some people sometimes put their stop loss at half of what it was previously so let's say that was your initial stop loss then you would go half once you're in some profit so i think we went at around 0 0.6 minus 0 0.6 so let's just add minus 0 0.6 then we range for some time, nothing happened, we went from minus 0 0.6 to 0 0.5, minus 0 0.6 and then we eventually went for a 1 to 10. And as always, I would always have like a limit, you won't study this trade forever and ever. You will need a limit to consider when you stop looking at the trade. So for me personally, it's either when it goes to minus 1, so let's say from that point, we would go to minus 1, then I would stop studying this trade or if it's around 4 or 5 p.m so let's just see at 4 or 5 p.m where price goes and there you go at around four all right so the farthest it went was a one to 10.9 so let's just add that to to our text 10.9 and that's it so this sequence is very important for the script because in the past what i would do is i would do this exercise for all of my trades and i'll show you here in excel that i have when i tell you that i love data this is what i mean you can see here that those sequence here were for a lot of my trades and look at how many trades i have here i have more than 400 trades and i would do this exercise for all of them because using those numbers, I will be able to know if it's better to take profit at a 2, 2.5, 3, 4, 5. I was very curious to know what was the best way for me to take profit. So I would input those numbers one by one in my Excel. And I don't wish that on my worst enemy. I think that took five years out of my life just doing that. So just to celebrate this course, I wanted to just take the time to sit down and write a script. And this is when I came and I created this slide here. So. In here, this is also the slide I'm going over in the course because I'm also presenting this way of taking profit and also two other ways of taking profit. But today in this video, I'll cover the fixed RR. What's great with the fixed RR is that it is very easy to work with and do some calculations with it. And this is the script I'm giving you today. So you can see here that you have the different dates and you have the trade sequence I was talking about. So let's say we take our own trade that we had today which is this sequence here. We'll just put it there. And then you can also put the, the date in this case, but it's not too important. You can put the actual result you got. So let's say you took a one to two, a one to four, you would just put it there. And this will allow us to compare the most optimal way to take profit with your actual results. And you might be shocked by how much you're leaving out in the table. So in our case, I just went for a one to three. And then each of these is different way to take profit. So the first column is to take profit at the one to one. I know some people are doing that and then never going break even. Second one, taking profit at a two, never going break even. Third one, taking profit at a two and then going break even once we reach 1% in profit. You understand the rest. So what I did here is I wrote a function called simulate take profit, which take in three inputs. The first one is the actual sequence of your trade. The second one is where you're planning on taking profit. Since I want to take a profit at a one, I will just write one here. In here, I, I want to take profit at two, I write two. There, I want to take profit at three, I write three. The third variable is where you want to go break even, at what time you want to go break even. Since I'm here, I want to take profit at a three and then go break even at a two. So I would just write three and then two. So the last variable is when you want to go break even. I want to go break even at one, I write one. And if I never want to go break even, I would just put a big number. So in the next version, because I'll be updating this sheet for the members, I'll try to find something better than that. But you could just write a big number there because you will never reach the big number before going to your take profit. So that's a way of bypassing uh, this function. So in here, once again, since I want to take profit at two and never going break even, I'll just write two and then 1000. And this is how it works. So let's say you have a new trade right there. You can just select all of them and then reduce it there. And this is how it would look like. 
So let's just take one of them. Let's say with this shit right there, I was planning on going break even once I reached 2%, but my final tick profit was a 3%. So I would have went break even once I reached that point, right? And then I would have been taking out right there, giving me a zero for this trade. So I said, take profit at three, take profit at three, break even at two. What I would get, 0%. Another example, take profit at three, but never go to break even, I would get a three. Take profit at two and break even at one, I would still get a two because if we come back here, I would go break even once I reach 1% in profit. So that would be at that point. And then right away, right there, I would have gotten my take profit at two, one to two. This is a very powerful sheet because let's say I would take my Excel sheet, all the time I spend doing that, and I would just copy those lines, come here, copy the 400 trades I did, and then just apply this function to all of them, I would just get that automatically. So all you have to do is just do your usual back test, and every time you finish a trade, you just put here in the trade sequence what happened. And then you will be able to find the best way to take profit, and then automatically it calculates everything. All right, so let's just look at the data now. So my actual results were getting 14R with a win rate of 72%. And by the way, once I get a zero, I also consider that a winning trade because it's a break even. So this is why it's pretty high, but you can change that if you want. The win rate, you can just uh, modify it to consider 0.1% for instance. But in here, based on those results, you can see that the trades having the highest win rate were those three. Taking profit at one, break even never. Take profit at two, break even at one. And then take profit at three and break even at one. So those three gave me the highest win rate, which was much better than what we had at the beginning. So that's an improvement there. However, if we look at the returns, the one that got me the best return was taking profit at the three and never going break even. It gave me 38, which is almost three times what we got before. So imagine what this can do to your trading. So me personally, if I had to choose any of those techniques, I would go for the TP3 and never going break even even though this, this does not give me the highest win rate. Because I would gladly sacrifice around 5%, you can see that between 83 and 77, it's around 5%. I would gladly give back 5% to get myself around 17 or more, right? So this is what I would go for, and this is actually what I'm using personally for my trading, something around 3 to 2.5. I really hope this sheet helps you out. And this is the kind of thing that we're studying in the Trading Journal Lab. So if you're tired of looking for the next golden strategy, Come learn a real trading skill, turning data into profits. Inside, I give you a powerful notion journal with analytical properties, and I will also sit one-on-one -on -one with every student in a private call. I don't know about you, but personally, I never got a one-on-one -on -one call with any of my previous mentors. I want my community to be authentic and make friends there. So I want to meet you face-to-face -face and hear about your struggles and actually try to help you in your trading. And to celebrate the release, I'm doing the biggest discount we'll ever offer which is 50% off for the first 30 people who join. And this is for the lifetime membership. Anyways, you can check the link in the description if you want to join us. I don't have much space in my website for now, so I've put the script at the very bottom of, of the course page. I could've kept this script for my students and I, but I thought it was too useful to not give it to everyone here. All I'm asking for you is if you could subscribe if you didn't already and share the video with other traders so that it can also hopefully help them. And finally, the proof that I really did take this trade in my MT4. So you can see here that I got the entry exactly where I showed you. You can see the entry point, stop loss and take profit. And then my exit was right there. So I went through the drawdown of coming back to break even and then finally going to TP. And it went much farther, which I didn't get obviously, but I'm just following my data and then following my trading plan. All right, see you in the next one.